Hello and welcome everyone. I'm CS Gilmore and this is Darkest Dungeon. I'm going after this horrid shrieker that stole eight of my relics, uh, trinkets, whatever. And I also noticed, learned something new just now. Um, see this assembly of characters? Well, if I move this one, switch places with them like here, it suddenly becomes Sisterhood. So not only does the who's in your party matter towards whether they meet a certain, I don't know, setup of everything, they also seems to matter what order they're in. Now then, I'm gonna get some of these. The blight and bandages for sure. Some stuff to get rid of debuffs. Don't need anything else. So, yeah, I'll bring all this and just see how that goes. Cause yeah, everything else I don't need because can't do anything with it. Pretty sure. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I don't think I can eat food in battle, but I'll bring a little just to make just to jog my memory. So, apparently there are a number of events that involve the Shrieker. At least two. I'm pretty sure there's others, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's at least... Well, no, maybe there isn't. I don't know. There's some other events, though, I know I haven't encountered yet. Uh, I think there's one involving a brigand, like call, uh, like some super brigand kind of boss guy. And I don't know what others there may be, but... Off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure there are a couple other boss cr encounter event boss creatures that I haven't run into. The Shrieker seems to be the most common one, though. I don't know what triggers some of these, if it's just random chance or whether there's like certain, certain triggers involved. But let's see if I can destroy this nest. I brought units that are ranged enough to hit it. Should be able to hit it, wait, no matter what, I've got four rounds in which to do this. Though I'm gonna have to have my healer probably be careful to keep me alive. Yes, it already has zero dodge, but let's see if we can give it more dodge, though I can't really because it doesn't. It has a debuff, super debuff. Resistance. Ow. All right, come on, kill that nest, kill it fast. There's tons of treasure in there, as from what I've been reading and hearing about from other sources. They have destroyed the nest before, and I want it. Okay, cure that, and do that. Perfect. I'm doing a lot of damage so far, but oh, I got a few more turns to do it in. And I Mortality Please stop being critical with your pecking. Strike. Honestly. Yep, yeah, and can't use food. It's that and that though. Keep working at the nest. Yeah, we're good today. Do all that. Do that all you want right now. My guys are good on stress. I don't care. Yeah, hemophilia is not bad. Dis a bad problem, uh, disease-wise, in this game at least. In real life, it would suck. But yeah, three criticals in a row. Seriously, why is the critical chance on that? Um, heal the party. You're most effective that way. You don't do a ton of damage with your other stuff. And yeah, now I'm getting a little worried about people's health. Perfect. My turn for a critical. And it looks like I'm gonna get the nest this time around because it's only round three, which means I've got everyone going twice more before the end. Yep, yeah, you suck still. So I should be able to take this nest out. Since I focused purely on it, I'm not hitting the shrieker at all because I want to make sure I destroy this. Almost there, 15, come on. Eight more left. I'll show you what happens when you destroy the nest. Like what you get for it. Which 
means I have to destroy it. From what I've read, you don't get anything for killing the Shriek, which is kind of sucky. Like, actually killing it, killing it, not just having a flea and kind of that, having that kind of killing it. But like, actually killing the Shrieker, according to stuff I've seen, doesn't count as anything. Okay, can you better look at this? Are these skulls attached to its back? I can't tell for sure. So there, stupid bird. At least that'll save me a little bit of damage and or stress. Now to see if I can kill it. Oh no, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill, deal that much damage. Even if everyone got criticals on their most powerful attacks, I wouldn't be able to deal that much damage. So, I'll just survive. But I could destroy the nest so I get the goodies. Maybe another mission I'll go on, I'll actually try to kill the Shrieker just to say, hey, I killed you. But this one, no. That's so much stress. Alright, well, I'll have to pay for stress treatments, but so as I understand it, the amount of treasure... Okay, I think you can sometimes get more, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Still, four of those, that's worth it. Because that's 20,000. And. That's. 20,000 I have, which can easily cover stress relief recovery. It didn't really steal any really good trinkets, thankfully. But it's still, you know, get those back. At least that way I can sell them if I end up needing gold ever. Ah. Automonophobia. Unquiet mind. I don't know what that does. Uh. Virtue chance, and you get rid of that, and you get rid of rabies. Prone to stealing items. Oh, I have to get rid of that. That's top priority. I'm gonna get rid of that next. Forget getting you stress relief. You're getting rid of that. Corvid's curiosity. Cannot resist little shiny things. I don't know what that is, but it's, on, it's one of those um, specialty quirks you can get. Oh, it's a bad one. Um, sounds a lot like Kleptomania. So I'm going to have to get a, few, a lot of treatment done. So it may not have been worth it in some ways. In other ways it was. Depending on how you look at it. I got my treasures back. I got my treat. I got some extra gold. Foulness. But it looks and like it I'm going to need a lot of that gold to pay for treating right. people who are messed up in the head now. You. Which one did you get? You got Kleptomaniac. So you're going in here. And let's see. Can I upgrade anything here? Reduces positive. Yeah, let's get that. Curious yeah, methodologies get this. and apparatus. There, and that'll reduce treatment costs a bit. Soul. So there, that's getting treated. And uh, who is the other person that got something? You got uh, Atama. Okay, plus twenty percent stress versus humans. That's what that is. I'm not paying attention. Um. I'll have you get in here to get treated for your Nuya. Where is it? You? Corvid's Curiosity. Kind of resist the lure of shiny things. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that does, but it sounds unpleasantly annoying. So, Corvid's Curiosity, let's chuck that. Then you got. Okay, nothing major. So you will actually get stress treatment. And the nice thing with uh, treating diseases, by the way, I think it's been mentioned at least by the game. Probably not by me, because I don't think to these things all that often, but um, you can get more than one treated at once. I don't know if you can get more than one quirk treated at once, but you can at least get more than one disease treated at once. So, like, uh, increased chance of curing extra diseases, yeah. This is just, I don't think you get extra quirks treated, but diseases you can get more than one. I've had up to three treated in one go. So, it's worth it to get that chance up. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!